His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the newly appointed President of the Civil Service Bureau, Sheikh Daij bin Salman bin Daij Al Khalifa at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to progressing the national workforce's contributions to Bahrain's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted Team Bahrain's pivotal role in developing the public sector work streams, adding that their relentless efforts across all sectors are a great source of pride for all. His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Daesh bin Salman on his new appointment, noting his expertise and vast experience within the government and private sectors. His Royal Highness wished him success in carrying out his duties and achieving the CSB's far-reaching goals. His Royal Highness affirmed the CSB's role through its organization efforts across government agencies which supports Bahrain's workforce through furthering efficiency and productivity. For his part, Sheikh Daesh bin Salman expressed gratitude and appreciation for meeting His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's commitment to developing the government workforce and supporting all the initiatives that enhance their capabilities for excellence and creativity, which reflects positively on the government's performance. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Maliki also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, Commander of the U.S. Fifth Fleet, and Commander of Combined Maritime Forces, Vice Admiral Charles B. Cooper at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing relations between Bahrain and the United States, noting their deep and strong bilateral cooperation across all levels, notably in the military and defense sectors. His Royal Highness highlighted the pivotal role of the United States alongside allied countries in consolidating international peace and security. His Royal Highness noted the importance of consolidating bilateral relations across all sectors through agreements, memorandums, and diplomatic visits, such as with the recently signed Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, several issues of common interest, international and regional developments, and ways to enhance bilateral cooperation were discussed. His Royal Highness highlight emphasized the prominent strategic role the U.S. holds on an international scale in safeguarding regional and global safety and stability, which are essentials to progress and development. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Maliki, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Ambassador of Germany to Bahrain, Clemens Augustus Hash, at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the Bahraini German relations noting the importance of consolidating the bilateral partnership across all levels to achieve the mutual aspirations. His Royal Highness was extended an invitation by the German ambassador to attend the 2024 Munich Security Conference. His Royal Highness noted the role of international conferences as platforms to consolidate peace dialogue and diplomatic efforts to resolve conflicts and promote security and development for all. During the meeting, Issues of common interest and regional as well as international developments were also discussed. His Royal Highness highlighted the course of the Bahrain-German partnership and the importance of furthering relations to benefit both countries and their peoples. For his part, the German ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering bilateral relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, attended the inauguration ceremony of the Book of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Illuminations in the Journey of a Man of Humanity, by the author and Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Arab Thought and Culture Centers, Professor Dr. Jamal Sanad Suedi, in the presence of a number of ministers, senior officials and invitees. The ceremony began with a screening of a film about the book.
سجل التاريخ رجالا عاهدوا فأوفوا جعلوا الوطن للسلام والأخوة مركزا وأكمل المسيرة من اتخذهم منهجا صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن زايد آل نهيان إضاءات في مسيرة رجل الإنسانية كتاب جديد للأستاذ الدكتور جمال سند السويدي يستعرض الكتاب مراحل مسيرة صاحب السمو منذ النشأة حتى توليه رئاسة الدولة إذ اتخذ من مدرسة زايد الثرية منهجا لتحقيق التفرة الهائلة في دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة واليوم ونحن نرى وطننا بين دول العالم كما أراد زايد والمؤسسون رحمهم الله جميعا من مكان عالي ودولة قوية ومتطورة يملك صاحب السمو نظرة ثاقبة نحو المستقبل مكنته من النهوض بالدولة وقيادتها نحو الريادة بفكر استراتيجي On the occasion, the Minister of the Royal Court expressed pride in the close and deep-rooted historical relations between Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He praised the book, which discusses the career of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, his achievements, his pioneering and major role in the UAE's cultural development and leadership, and His Highness's humanitarian and charitable stances and initiatives that call for rapprochement between people of religions, civilizations, and cultures, spreading the values of peace, coexistence, and strengthening human brotherhood between nations and people, and the great global appreciation and respect that His Highness has. Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed expressed appreciation for the effort of Dr. Suwedi in writing and preparing and completing the book, which will constitute an important reference for researchers and thinkers, and a qualitative and valuable addition to national and Arab libraries, noting his contributions in various scientific, intellectual, and research fields, and the important role played by the Emirates Center for Studies and Strategic Research. During the ceremony, advisor to His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Nabil al Hamar, read an excerpt from the book. At the conclusion of the ceremony, Dr. Asawadi signed the first copy of the book and presented it to the Minister of the Royal Court. For his part, Dr. Asawadi expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of the Royal Court for patronizing the ceremony, which comes within the framework of the historical relations and close ties between Bahrain and the UAE. The Bahrain Defense Force has issued the following statement. The Bahrain Defense Force deeply mourns the tragic loss of the fallen serviceman, Major Mohammed Salim Mohammed Anbar, who valiantly gave his life in the line of duty. On Wednesday, October 25, 2023, Major Mohammed Salim Mohammed Anbar passed away affected by his serious injuries as a result of the act of aggression conducted by the Houthi forces, which took place on September 25, 2023, during his dedicated service and the Arab Coalition Forces, as part of Operation Decisive Storm and Operation Restoring Hope along the southern borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The General Headquarters of the Bahrain Defense Force extends its deepest condolences to the family of the fallen servicemen, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and for the injured a speedy recovery. PDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the body of fallen serviceman Major Mohammed Salim Mohammed Ambar at the Isa Air Base in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Ziad bin Sagar Al Naimi. The body arrived on a board a Royal Bahraini Air Force military plane, and special military ceremonies were held in the presence of a number of senior BDF officers and the family of the fallen servicemen. The Commander-in-Chief conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince 
Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and the Prime Minister, Sheikh Sal Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the family members and their prayers for a speedy recovery for the wounded and injured. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the fallen servicemen in eternal peace and to grant their families solace. He affirmed that the sacrifices of the brave servicemen are a source of pride as they have lost their lives while valiantly performing their national duties to defend the southern borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Within the coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen, participating in the operation Restoring Hope. The National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, were at the forefront of a crowd of mourners at the Hninia Cemetery to perform the funeral prayer for the fallen servicemen, Major Mohammed Salim Mohammed Ambar one of the brave men of the BDF, who was part of the coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, participating in Operation Restoring Hope, stationed on the southern border of Saudi Arabia to defend its borders. His Highness the National Security Advisor, His Highness the Commander of the Royal Special Force Guard, the Minister of Defense Affairs, the Chief of Staff and the mourners recited prayers for the martyr. They then conveyed the condolences and sympathy of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa to the family and relatives of the fallen servicemen wishing the wounded a speedy recovery. They also offer their sincere condolences, sympathy to the fallen servicemen families and their relatives and pray to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace, wishing the wounded a speedy recovery. The funeral was attended by a number of BDF senior officers, officials, the family and relatives of the fallen servicemen and a large crowd of citizens. Bahrain's parliamentary division delegation headed by Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al Msallam participated in a hearing for four female candidates for the presidency of the Inter-Parliamentary Union for the years 2024 to 2026. The four candidates presented their academic and practical careers and their role in parliamentary work at the local, regional and international levels. The candidates informed the heads of parliaments and representatives of their vision and programs that contribute to the continued development and performance processes in the work of the Inter-Parliamentary Union over the past years. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, participated in the meeting of the Interior Ministers of the International Security Alliance 
ISA in Abu Dhabi. In his speech, the minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, for strengthening the role of the International Security Alliance's combined operations and the role of the General Secretariat in Abu Dhabi in combating organized and cross border crime in cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries. He also expressed appreciation for the participation of the ministers of the interiors of the number of member states and the approach they show that reflects the ISA's security responsibility. He noted that the alliance succeeded in leaving its mark internationally in combating crime and confronting various security risks, especially during the joint security operation where the trafficking of large quantities of drugs was foiled which showcased ISA's capabilities and expertise in addressing issues and confronting security challenges. Sheikh Rashid stated that the circumstances the region is witnessing and the preparedness of the security authorities as well as the emergence of new types of organized crime and the exploitation of social media to spread extremist ideology requires joint work to strengthen the ISA's role by promoting cooperation and coordination in many security fields, developing the work of rescue teams and using modern equipment and technologies to enhance efficiency, capabilities and readiness. He emphasized the importance of moving forward and exchanging expertise, continuing solidarity and coordination to tackle security risks and reinforcing regional stability, international peace and security. The minister expressed appreciation for Bahrain's participation in the International Alliance, wishing this meeting a success. The meeting discussed several common security issues and topics, including combating cybercrime and using drones by terrorist groups, preventing and combating online extremism and environment, environmental crimes related to climate change within the framework of exchanging expertise, confronting security threats, and developing joint strategies to combat crime. On the sidelines of the meeting of the Interior Ministers of the International Security Alliance, ISA, the Minister of the Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met with the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah praised the historical and fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries and the mutual keenness to enhance the prospects for security cooperation in various fields. They also discussed a number of security topics and issues were discussed and enhancing joint efforts identified to exchange experiences and information within the framework of the International Security Alliance in a way that contributes to achieving regional security and stability. During his visit to the UAE, the Minister of Interior was accompanied by a delegation that included a number of ministry officials. In the presence of the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Mohammed Juma'a, the University of Technology Bahrain organized the Information Technology Conference. The Minister of Education expressed appreciation for the important role played by universities in the kingdom in providing modern study programs in various specializations and scientific fields and hosting qualitative scientific seminars and conferences that discuss the most important issues. He noted the government's efforts and plans to attract such events. The minister affirmed that Bahrain is a pioneer in keeping pace with the technological revolution. He praised the kingdom's initiative to launch the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education and launching a strategy for the communications, information technology and digital economy sectors. The Minister of Interior and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, held a meeting with the Commissioner of the National Intellectual Property Administration in Beijing, Zing Shanji. The two parties signed a memorandum of understanding on the Patent Prosecution Highway pilot program. The minister affirmed the depth of the Bahraini-Chinese relations and the keenness to continue expanding aspects of cooperation in various fields. 
to achieve common aspirations. The minister expressed the kingdom's commitment to enhancing innovation and developing policies and procedures that protect intellectual property, pointing out that the importance of exchanging experiences to promote progress in this field. Fakhra added that the MOU aims to enhance cooperation and exchange of knowledge in the field of intellectual property, protection and development, innovation, capabilities in both countries, and reflects the commitment of the two countries to strengthen economic and technical cooperation. He said this also helps to exchange knowledge in the field of innovation and intellectual property and aims to promote innovation and develop important industries in both countries. The General Secretariat of the Shura Council and the Institute of Public Administration concluded the coaching project organized by the Institute over the past years for caterers working in the Shura Council. In the presence of the Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, Sheikha Dr. Rana bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Shura Council, uh, Karima Al Abbasi, and a number of officials. Training and guidance programs provided by the Institute of Public Administration directly reflects the keenness of many institutions, including the General Secretariat of the Shura Council, to develop and empower their national caters by enrolling them in programs that will achieve the desired institutional goals. Bahrain's Parliamentary Division participated in the meetings of the IPU, the Inter-Parliamentary Union Committee on Sustainable Development. Representative Council Member Hassan Ibrahim stressed that Bahrain continues to prepare and implement ambitious development plans and initiatives to achieve its environmental and climate commitments. He noted that Bahrain supports dialogue between countries of the world to discuss issues related to security and stability of the global economy. For his part, Representative Council Member Munir Surur stated that Bahrain has developed a strategic project for national food production that includes various food sources, adding that it is taking steps to launch the food security strategy 2020-2030. The member of the Shura Council and member of the Interparliamentary Union Office of Women Parliamentarian Hala Ramzi participated in a joint workshop between the IPU and the World Health Organization. On dismantling the pandemic agreement, Ramzi affirmed that Bahrain continues its tireless endeavor to support, encourage and innovate global initiatives to achieve health for all by launching many initiatives aimed at ensuring that all countries of the world share these international health approaches. She stressed that Bahrain provides high quality health care services to all members of society and makes continuous efforts to enhance health awareness. <laughs> 